Hey everybody, it's Paige, and today's video is going to be my review of the new Too Faced Too Femme collection. I picked up the eyeshadow palette, the blush, and one of the lipsticks to try out. It's been a while since I have done a review on a new Too Faced collection, and this one was so freaking cute, so I had to pick it up. We're going to be trying all of these out today. I cannot wait. If you guys are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy. And let's go ahead and get started. I realize that my background is <laughs> kind of a disaster right now. I'm still trying to figure out what I'm doing. I honestly have no idea what I'm doing. I want it to be pink. I, this is not going to stay. But I want it to be pink, but also a little bit more neutral. A little bit more cozy vibes. But I don't know I'm struggling so please ignore the background for now we will figure that out soon um, but for the makeup today I have most of my makeup done I will link the products that I use today down below in the description box I will also have these linked down below so we have the Too Femme ethereal eyeshadow palette and then we have the blush the Too Femme blush look how cute this packaging is I am absolutely obsessed. The pastels, the butterflies, it's adorable. And then I also picked up one of the Too Faced Heart Core Lipsticks. I bought the shade, oh, Too Femme. <laughs> I don't know what this color looks like. I haven't opened any of these up yet, so this is a very first impressions review. Um, and it has been a while since I've tried a new Too Faced palette, so let's go ahead and take a peek at this palette. I used to be obsessed with Too Faced palettes. I had all of the chocolate bar, chocolate bonbons, semi-sweets, the peach palettes. Um, I used to have a lot of the like holiday palettes as well, but it's been a while. I haven't had any of like the pumpkin spice or cinnamon roll or any of those. So here is what the palette looks like. It's quite small. It's definitely smaller than I thought it was going to be, but here is the packaging. It's super cute. It is a cardboard packaging. And let's go ahead and take a peek. Ooh, this is so pretty. I will say, immediately seeing this, I instantly think of the Candy Skies collection from Laura Lee Los Angeles, the Candy Skies palette that she did in collaboration with her niece Erin. But it's beautiful nonetheless. I'm going to have to grab... Oh. I don't know where that palette is actually. It's still packed up in a box. I am so sorry. I will throw up a picture of it here though so you guys can kind of see the the vibes that I'm getting. Maybe you see it too. Maybe you don't. I don't know. But here is the palette. It looks super cute. We have some fun mattes and some fun shimmers as well. Next we have the blush which once again such cute packaging. I absolutely love this. And here is what the blush looks like. It's a really pretty pink color. It looks like there's some gold overspray, which I don't know how I feel about that, but um, the actual color itself looks really pretty. So I'm excited to try this. I used to love the Too Faced blushes. I loved their baked blushes as well as the like heart shaped blushes absolutely fantastic so hopefully this lives up to the quality and experience that I had with those and then we have the lipstick here which once again is in the shade Too Femme and this is a really cute package oh my gosh it's like a little heart-shaped lipstick tube I don't know if it's gonna focus or not but it is so cute and here is what the lipstick itself looks like. It has a little bit of a heart, a little baby heart in the center. So let's go ahead and swatch this lipstick. Ooh, it's really pretty. It's not sheer, but it looks like it has a little bit of a sheerer formula. Like it kind of reminds me of a lip balm texture, not so much a super thick, creamy lipstick. So definitely gives me more lip balm vibes. That's really pretty. Let's go ahead and apply this. And we will kind of build our eye look around the lip color so these lipsticks retail for 23 dollars there are six different shades this is the shade number two i want to say two femme i don't really wear colors like this too often so i feel a little bit weird but i think it's really pretty um i think this is probably um, 
I don't know there's some cute colors they all are kind of those like pinky berry tones a little bit of like a red because it is like that lip balm texture so there's no like light pinky beigey nudes which is what I usually wear so we're definitely going out of our comfort zone with this one but it is very hydrating it says it has a high shine finish it's hydrating wow and cruelty free it says that it is a glossy easy to wear lipstick that delivers juicy juicy ju <laughs> juicy shine and nourishing buildable color for a comfortable kissable lip look i definitely would say that it feels very hydrating it feels like lip balm but it definitely packs a punch with the pigment i only did like basically one swipe around but i'm sure you can build this up even more i'm gonna try to keep it like this though um just because like i said i'm not used to these bright colorful lips on so let's go ahead and check out the blush Here's what the blush looks like once again. I'm gonna swatch avoiding the gold overspray just to kind of see what we're looking like. So here is the blush. It's definitely very shimmery. It's a really pretty color. It has like a golden shimmer to it. So I feel like this is gonna look really pretty with this lip color, hopefully. Um, I don't know how I feel about this overspray like it's just gonna disappear it's kind of pointless so i'm gonna go in with the f24 from the linked brushes you guys can use code page for 10 percent off um and i'm just gonna tap in i guess oh yeah i'm already like destroying the overspray so i'm just gonna tap in like kind of a lot and then tap off the excess i have bronzer on already but i don't have any blush on so let's tap on some blush oh she is pigmented that is so pretty honestly i love the blush it's very shiny <laughs> it's not like chunky glitter but i'm definitely getting glowy blush vibes from this product so i know i said it looks like it has a golden sheen to it when i swatch it but on the cheeks i am getting a very like blue pink shift like this right here looks almost like purple shine <laughs> like a purple duochrome almost i'm not sure how i'm feeling about that i kind of think i don't like it right away um just because it almost looks like blue like it has like a, it's like a pink pinky peach blush with a blue shift to it it's cute but i feel like it's not practical for every day and i feel almost like I'm like going to a festival or something i don't know if it's going to translate on camera as it is in person but you can definitely see the glow and that glow is like very blue <laughs> so mm, already i'm feeling kind of weird about my makeup not sure how i feel about the color story right now but hopefully once we do the eyeshadow we can kind of pull things together and it'll look a little bit more normal i am gonna go ahead and swatch the palette really quick so i'm going to take this off and do swatches for you guys so we can kind of get a feel for the formula all right so here are the swatches of the eyeshadow palette i feel like overall it's swatched very nicely the mattes when i touch them they feel buttery smooth like unbelievably smooth i do feel like the pigmentation is there but they do feel a little bit chalky as well like when you swatch the product kind of like clumps up onto your fingers how chalk might but um overall i'm pretty impressed those shimmers look absolutely stunning lots of pigment very pretty color story overall i cannot wait to play with these shadows so from top to bottom oh there's no oh yeah there are shade names <laughs> from uh, top to bottom we have hearts of flutter heart on meant to be make it rain um chrysalis crush you give me butterflies free to be femme soft landing hear me roar pretty powerful think pink too femme fairly fiercely femme and queen of everything so super cute colors super cute names i'm definitely feeling the eyeshadow palette the most out of anything so far so i'm gonna go ahead and zoom you guys in and we will prime the eyes and do some fun eyeshadow by the way this blush retails for thirty dollars <laughs> that's a lot that's a lot um maybe you guys will be able to see what i'm talking about better there's like a blue flash 
to my blush. I don't have any highlighter on yet. I'm actually going to put some on. This is the Love Light highlighter from Too Faced in Blinded by the Light. I almost got rid of this because I thought that it was discontinued, but then I saw that it wasn't. So, um, yeah, I love this. It's absolutely beautiful. Look at the highlighter. 10 out of 10 would recommend this highlight. Um, so far, I don't think I'm loving the blush. It's a nice formula. I just don't think I like the color and the weird, like, blue shift that it's giving me. And then the lip color is nice, but this just isn't something that I'm going to wear on a daily basis because of the color. If you like these berry tone tinted lip balmy type colors then i think this is a really nice formula it's very comfortable it smells good too i don't know what it smells like but it has a nice kind of fruity flavor i think um but just the color itself isn't my personal preference so don't know how i feel about that but we are gonna go ahead and get into the eyeshadow palette i'm gonna prime my eyes with my mac paint pot in the shade painterly sounds like somebody's home i hear the doggos barking i'm just gonna take my morphe m173 and i'm going to put that into the primer and prime my eyes right now i don't have anything on my eyelids besides some foundation that i blended out but I'm gonna cover that up with this primer. I love this eyeshadow primer so much. I kind of need a new one, but I actually have another color, so I'm gonna try out the new color, but this shade here is freaking fantastic for me. I've got a dog friend in here with me now. Turkey's keeping me company. <laughs> um, okay, so eyeshadow palette time. Um, so we have a very berry toned lip. So I'm thinking I kind of want to play more with this bottom row here. There are some really fun like bluey, purpley pastels. But I feel like that might be a bit much <laughs> with the blush and the lip together. So I'm going to take an E21 from Ling Brushes. And let's go ahead... Mm, let's go in with this shade here this is a really pretty like matte pinky color and I'm gonna put this in my crease immediately I see some really nice pigment hopefully you guys can see that as well this is one of the matte shades so it feels super like velvety smooth and I was thinking they felt a little bit chalky but as I blend it on the eye, it doesn't feel like that at all. I'm not getting like kick up or fallout or anything. It's just blending out very nicely on to my eye. So there's that color. I do have a little bit of kick up in the pan, but it is very, very minimal. Turkey's licking his lips, aren't you? Now we're going to take it a little bit deeper and we're going to go in with this berry shade here. I'm a little nervous. I'm just going to take that same brush, tap into there, and I'm going to tap this in my outer corner and just kind of start blending little by little. I'm kind of just doing tapping motions. I don't want it to be too intense, but I do want that little pop of berry. So far, I'm not having any problem with blending also. I do notice that as you blend, it does kind of sheer out a little bit, but I personally like that. That's like what I'm looking for in this look. And this shadow is buildable. So I just blended some out on my eye and then I added a little bit more and it definitely built up the pigmentation. So although it does kind of disperse as you blend, you can build up that pigmentation and get it back to Full opacity now I'm gonna go in with this shade right here which is a really cool shimmer it feels interesting the texture is definitely unique kind of reminds me of some of the Huda Beauty shadows those like speckly looking ones um, and I'm just gonna take my finger oh my goodness and apply that to my lid holy crap do you see that shimmer I know you do that is absolutely stunning I am obsessed Look at that. I have a tiny bit of fallout, but it looks like flaky enough to where if I just kind of dust it away, I should be good. Yeah, the fallout definitely wipes right away without leaving any residue. My camera battery died, so I had to go switch that, but I am back. And I think the eyeshadow is looking really, really cute. I just kind of blended out a little bit more with what was left over on this brush. 
in my outer corner slash crease area just to kind of even things out and balance them out a little bit so here's what the makeup's looking like it's looking really cute i feel like it looks cute with the blush the blush is just a little bit much for me so mm, still not sure how i feel about that but honestly i think this eyeshadow palette is really really nice i love the shadows that i used i only used four but based on the swatches it seems pretty consistent so um actually i only used three eyeshadows yeah I only use three eyeshadows, but <laughs> based on the swatches, they feel pretty consistent. So I'm excited to do some more looks with this palette, but I think this is cute. I don't want to go too crazy. I want to keep it kind of simple and monochromatic. So um, I'm going to put on some mascara. I'm also going to put a little bit of that Too Faced highlighter on my inner corner and my brow bone, but I'm going to use the Benefit Roller Lash Mascara and some setting spray, and then I will be back to give you guys my final thoughts all right you guys so here is the finished look i feel almost like fairy vibes <laughs> from my makeup i feel like it's really cute i think it turned out really well um overall i think this is a really cute collection if you like these colors i think you'll like this collection coming from someone who isn't super familiar with the Too Faced formulas anymore overall i am pretty impressed I will say the eyeshadow palette is definitely my favorite thing from this collection. I think that my eye look turned out really cute. I think there's lots of fun, pretty springy pastels, and you can make a lot of fun combos with this palette. I like that there's peachy colors, there's more like purpley berry colors. We've got the minty greens, the little, I was going to say <laughs> splash of purple, but it's like that little, this little, um, what is the word I'm trying to say? Pop, a little pop of pastel lavender along with some neutrals so overall i think this is a really cute palette i love the color story i really like the formula so far the packaging is really cute it does feel kind of small but i kind of like it i don't know normally i like the big fancy packaging palettes but i i kind of like the simplicity and like just like sleekness of this palette it feels nice has some nice weight to it although it is cardboard packaging it has like texture to it you, the, you can feel the butterflies and they're kind of like shiny but the rest of the packaging is that like matte cardboard kind of feel but it feels really nice so i think this palette is gets a thumbs up i would recommend this palette the blush i don't know how i feel about the blush i think the formula is fine like i said it's quite pigmented the glitter overspray just needs to get out of here it's cute for pictures and stuff but practically it adds no benefit to the product it kind of just gets in the way so there's no more gold overspray anymore i just i don't know when i look in the pan it looks like uh like a peachy pink color with gold shimmer or gold glitter almost but then on my cheeks like i said it just had that like blue like purpley blue shift to it which just made me feel weird almost like it was like little kid makeup or something i don't know if you like that look then by all means you'll probably love this blush i just personally like more like natural like you know everyday kind of makeup and that's not what this is for me so i don't know how i feel about this blush i wish it wasn't shimmery i kind of wish it was just like a matte blush but i think the color itself is pretty i don't know how often i will reach for this um just because of that weird blue shift but not my personal preference but i don't think it's a bad blush i think 30 dollars is kind of a lot for this like i don't i wouldn't recommend if you like very natural simple like everyday kind of colors i don't know if you'll love this blush so i don't know if you like the blue duochrome i'm sure you'd love it if you don't then definitely stay away from the blush and then the lipstick i think is so cute i wish it was more of like a regular lipstick formula and i wish they had like pinky nudes and like just like regular nude more opaque shades instead of the berry like lip balmy kind of look i know it's like completely different but I don't know this just isn't my preference i think it's really nice i just don't think i'm gonna be using this every single day so use that information however you would like i think it's great if you're looking for this type of product i would recommend however i don't see myself using this 
super frequently, so I definitely won't be picking up any of the other shades. Um, but I think this color is really pretty, which once again, this is in the shade 2 Femme 02. Hopefully that made sense. <laughs> so once again, based on my first impressions review, I would recommend the eyeshadow palette. I would recommend these if this is the type of thing you're looking for. However, I don't see myself using these super, super frequently. I think they're nice to have, but I think I like the packaging more than I like the products themselves. So that is my first impressions review on the new Too Faced Too Femme collection. Let me know your thoughts. If you guys have tried these products out, let me know what you think down below in the comments. Um, and if there's any other collections you guys would like to see me review, let me know that as well. Like I said, the background will not be staying the same. It will be changing, uh, but thank you guys for dealing with my indecision in the meantime. So anyway, like I said, all of the products that I used will be linked down below in the description box for you guys in case you're interested in checking them out. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, please don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. I love you all so, so much. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.